finally getting to the review that a lot of you guys have been asking and waiting for, which is of my MacBook Pro. Um, and I wanted to um, wait a while, use it for a while, you know, get to get the the ins and outs of you know having a MacBook Pro and using it for um, YouTube and everything else um, because before I had purchased my MacBook Pro I was using an iPad second generation um, and don't get me wrong I do miss my iPad very much you know I'm, I was used to the um, mobile aspect of it and stuff but I do have an iPhone so I'm not you know missing it extremely a lot but you know it is different um, and um, one thing I can say about um, my MacBook Pro is that um, I really do like it. Um, I'm used to using Apple so you know I was comfortable with the certain apps and things um, and I know that's one thing that did change is because you know there is a vast uh, you know, variety of very different apps that you can get um, for, you know, having a desktop com desktop computer versus a mobile, you know, device. Um, and that's one thing that I am still, you know, getting used to is, you know, the fact that, you know, the MacBook just doesn't have all of the mobile um, apps that, you know, the iPad or your iPhone, iPod Touch, all that other stuff um, that they all have. So that's one thing that I am getting used to. But as far as an all around, you know, laptop from going from a Windows computer to an Apple. Um, I do absolutely love it. Um, I do recommend the purchase of one. Um, as far as a YouTuber, as far as um, that aspect of um, the MacBook Pro, it is very good. There are, you know, a lot of different um, editors for photo, video, and stuff like that. Um, I am at this moment using the iMovie that does come on your computer when you purchase it. Um, so that is what I'm using for an editor. Um, and, um, you know, and it, it does work good. I actually like using the iMovie on my MacBook uh, desktop versus my i i um iPad that I was using before um, it is a lot better um, there are some features that are better you know on this desktop device and stuff because you know it just gives you a, a better variety of stuff on there so on that aspect as far as you know um, editing and stuff like that it is a thousand times easier to do um, which is another plus of the MacBook Pro um, one of the biggest downfalls that I do give a thumbs down to is the storage is the space on there um, I had to go and purchase a flash drive you know I, I um, as of right now I have a 256 megabyte um, or a gigabyte flash drive and um, and right now saving stuff to that has been helpful as far as freeing up space on my computer but you know there's only so much that you can save to there so having apps having certain things like that save does take up a lot of space on there um, and within the next uh, few weeks here I, I would say within the next three weeks or so I will be purchasing an external hard drive for the MacBook so then that way I have a lot more room to save videos because there's just some videos that I save because I can use them for future videos such as green screens um, you know like certain intros certain outros and stuff like that that I can use for more than just one video so saving that stuff is you know recommend it for me you know because I need it as far as making YouTube videos so on that aspect that's the only downfall that I do give um, the MacBook Pro as far as a, a review standpoint is the space on there they it doesn't have a lot of space I mean you can buy the you know more expensive ones that have more space but you know me I'm a college student I'm an at-home mom so you know the funds for a more expensive MacBook just wasn't there um, and in in the near future I do plan on purchasing Final Cut Pro as well which is going to take up a lot of space on my computer so that is another reason why I plan on buying an, an external hard drive I do recommend buying an external hard drive uh, upon purchasing a MacBook especially if you're using for me I use it for college I use it for YouTube and that type of stuff takes up a lot of space because even for college there's ebooks and stuff that I want to save and there just isn't a lot of space to save it on the computer um, but I do have a lot of um, flash drives that I have as well to, to save stuff on but um, I recommend flash drives you know I do have a certain flash drive that I have just for my school stuff that I save so then that way it's not saved on the computer and then you know 
obviously get going into purchasing that external hard drive is going to help me out so much um, but as far as an overall review of the MacBook Pro I do give it a double thumbs up I do absolutely love my MacBook Pro um, I this one particular I think is a 32 gig one um, and upon purchasing this I'm gonna unplug it here so you guys can see um, is I actually this it didn't come in this ombre looking thing this is actually a case um, that can pop I'm not gonna say pop right off because you know trying it with one hand trying to pop this off it's just not coming off the way I want it to but this pops right off and I bought a case for it um, on eBay actually and it fits absolutely wonderful and it does have a case at the bottom and it also does come with a keyboard protector but um, I don't use the keyboard protector that often um, because I just like you know the regular feel of the keys um, but uh, I would recommend buying some sort of protective case for it. Um, I do take it off at least twice a month. Um, and go with an electronic wipe and a little pressure can to um, clean clean it out because you know if if you're around dust and stuff like that you get quite a bit of um, dust uh, you can get quite a bit of dust in there and I don't want it to mess up from just simply from dust so I um, I clean it off clean off the screen and stuff like that um, you can um, set up certain accounts like obviously I'm the the main admin who uses my computer so I have that main admin account on here um, but just like Windows computer you know how if you um, turn on your computer you can have different you know face logos for each of the family members who use the computer um, you can do that same aspect on these MacBook Pros as well and I do have one set up for my daughter um, for when she uses it um, and I have it set up where it, it's a timer she's only able to use it at a certain time can't go on certain sites and stuff like that so I do have it set up like that which is awesome if you have kids and you know they if they use the computer and stuff like that you can set a parental control on it which is really really nice um, and because I do have other Apple products like my iPhone and I still do have that iPad and everything I have it all connected which is really nice so if I take pictures on my iPhone I have it set up where I can um, access them from my computer um, and stuff like that I know Windows has different things like that where you can connect stuff but I do like that feature that Apple has where you can connect all your Apple devices um, which is really really nice so um, I do give it a thumbs up um, like like I said, you know, it's a desktop computer, so you can pretty much do anything else that a desktop computer can do. And um, it does have a lot of those Apple apps, which are known to us Apple users. And it is, you know, really, really cool that you can still have a lot of those. Um, yeah, another downfall as well, because I... I apologize I totally forgot about this but another downfall it has is that if you want to get certain apps and stuff like that that they do provide on a desktop um, on their desktop computers um, that the apps are quite expensive um, I am a game player when it came to um, having you know my iPad I, I love to play the games on there I'm like a really big Sims person and stuff like that and um, the Sims on their desktop apps is like $40 um, so it is quite expensive so um, you do have to have make sure you have money to purchase some of these apps because they are quite expensive even some of the other types of editors are quite expensive that's why I'm really glad that it does come with iMovies already on it because that is perfectly fine for me to use because a lot of the other editors I use are actually websites like pickmonkey.com and stuff like that so um, so on that aspect it was okay but I but they are quite expensive and they do take up quite a bit of space. So I do recommend buying an external hard drive for it um, if you do plan on getting the MacBook Pro. But um, though this is my review for the MacBook Pro, um, not getting paid for it or by no, nothing like that. Um, it's just more of a personal review so you guys can um, get a pin, you know, a different opinions on how the MacBook Pro can work for you and like I said I use it for YouTube since I'm a YouTuber and um, it takes it can take um, SD cards this particular one that I have does not have a DVD slot um, the older versions do but I I have Netflix and stuff like that and you know time on a cable so I wasn't you know I wasn't in need of that um, that disk drive and it doesn't have it but like I said it does take a um, um, one of these um, SD cards um, if you have a micro one for example like if your camera takes this micro one make sure you go get an adapter you can get these from like Walmart and stuff that your mini 
SD card fits right inside and then it will fit right into your computer so then that way you can edit stuff off of here because I know a lot of people use their phones and stuff to record and a lot of phones do take that um, micro SD card so go find an adapter so then that way you can edit it right from your computer and like I said you can find these adapters on you know Amazon or eBay Walmart and stuff like that I think I've um, I know I had a bunch of these from years for years and stuff so I've already had a bunch of these but I did see some at Walmart and stuff so um so yes please just give this review a thumbs up and if you guys have any questions on the MacBook Pro or anything like that or if you want to see other reviews on certain items that I may have um let me know down in the comments and um thank you guys so much for watching um have a awesome awesome week guys